The current official recommendation is to have a total cholesterol under 200. Over 240 is considered high, 200 to 239 borderline high, but under 200 is desirable. So I mean, you'd imagine that the average cholesterol of people who have heart attacks is you know, 250, 300, somewhere in the high range. That's where it's dangerous, right? Well, a major study was just published in the American Heart Journal this year. 65,000 people hospitalized with acute coronary syndromes, like myocardial infarctions, heart attacks, uh, across 344 hospitals. Guess what their average cholesterol was on admission? 170. Right? If you went to a doctor uh, worried about your heart, you know, maybe a heart disease in your family, or you know, you're feeling your diet hasn't been the greatest, and your cholesterol came back at 170, well within the desirable range, your doctor would probably pat you on the back, tell you to keep up the good work, and send you on your merry way. Based on this new data, the next time you see them, though, may be when you arrive in an ambulance, if you're lucky enough to make it that far. Most people admitted to hospitals with heart attacks have quote-unquote normal cholesterols. Having a normal cholesterol in a society where it's normal to drop dead of heart disease is not necessarily a good thing. Desirable cholesterol levels leave a lot to be desired.